Welcome to Maintenance Monday. We're going to talk refrigeration. We're going to discuss our system. It's different than most modern systems, but uh, it should work well. Well, we hope it works well. And it's under here wow. and right here. This is our compressor. It's similar to your car's air conditioner, and this is what run, runs our refrigerator. So this is our refrigerator. We've got a refrigerator and a freezer. And we're trying to fix it so it can look prettier in there. So the way this works is just two cold plates and the compressor runs a refrigerant here and it's just expansion. So when the gas expands, it gets cold. So these cold plates get well below freezing and we'll have a refrigerator and a freezer. One thing I like about this kind of refrigeration system, or not the system, but the refrigerators themselves is they're top loading. It does make things a little more difficult for getting things in and out, but the, the key is when I open this up, cold air is you know heavier than warm air, so all the cold air stays in the refrigerator. So if you're sitting there digging, trying to find stuff, it, the cold air stays in and it makes the refrigerator work less. It's not like your household refrigerator. Your household refrigerator, it kind of works like an air conditioner, right? It, it blows cold air in. This doesn't do this. This just has a cold plate and then it ambiently cools the uh, refrigerator. So if you put a bunch of hot air in there, it takes a very long time to pull it out. So that's why you shouldn't put warm things in your refrigerator. So if you have like a case of beer, a case of warm beer, a case of warm beer, Who does that? don't put that in your refrigerator, put it in a cooler because it will warm up your refrigerator. Good to know. Good to know. Don't invite me over if you have warm beer. <laughs> Unfortunately, right now, none of that's happening. Um, what we've been doing is putting ice blocks in here to keep everything cold, which works, but not very well. So I'm just thinking when they do work, you want to stick your tongue on it and check no, it? I don't, <laughs> I, don't, no. I don't want to stick my tongue on it and check it. No? So, no. I mean, it's Christmas time, like a Christmas story. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think, I, I think we'll pass on that. Okay. Maybe you can try it. No. I promise I'll call the paramedic. You're a nurse. No. So, Pour hot water on it. Yeah, right. All right, so I'm going to show you what we've done so far and what we're about to do, and hopefully that fixes our problem. Yay! So this is the compressor. We were having problems with that. We actually ordered a new clutch for it, and we already replaced this clutch. Uh, after we replaced the clutch, um, it was still not cooling very well, so we checked the sight glass and everything, and we think it's slow on refrigerating it. It originally had an R12 system. It's been retrofitted to an R134. I don't know when that actually happened, but I've called the manufacturer on the phone with them lots. And so they've confirmed it is 134. So 134, you can buy at any auto parts store and it's not really regulated. Whereas R12, good luck finding it. Uh, if you can find it, it's very expensive. Um, but uh, so basically we're gonna recharge the system. All right, most air conditioners have, or, or refrigerators, basically the same thing, um, have a high pressure outlet where you can discharge the system that's not actually a discharge there's one on the other side of this case here but it's normally got a red and it says h on it the low pressure or the charging side the suction side is has a blue cap on it and it has an l on it so what we're going to do is hook up our r134 canisters to it turn the engine on and it should suck in the new refrigerant this is just a standard automotive kit that you can buy at any AutoZone or o'reilly the key is to pierce the canister and have the, the refrigerant running through the line before actually making the connection. That way you purge the line of air. Here I'm just watching the sight glass to see the refrigerant as it enters. It's bubbling and foaming. What you want is that bubbling and foaming to eventually go away and almost run clear with just a couple bubbles. The dogs didn't quite know what was going on, but looked comfortable enough. All right, we just charged the system and we finally got a good sign. You can see the lines down there. Well, they're kind of not frozen anymore, but they were just a little frosty down there. And our sight, glade, sight gauge was still running bubbles through it, like literally foamy. And so that means it's still a little low on refrigerant. So we're gonna put the other can on there. These things get really cold. There's still ice on the bottom of this thing from putting it in there. So you may want to wear some gloves or something. But uh, well, that's the first good sign we've had that this thing's gonna work. And now we do have cold plates that will keep our refrigerator cold. This is awesome. Stick yeah. your tongue on it. 
<laughs> no, I'm Dateria. not. No, I'm not sticking my tongue. Dateria. Come on. No, I'll, you stick here. So this is. Dude, you can't. It's hard it's to tell. Icy. Yeah, it's icy. It's frosty. So these are just solid metal that the uh, compressor, you know, through uh, you know the expansion of the the coolant, right? So when it's gas expands, it cools. So it expands in there and just cools it off. And so there's solid metal plates and they get really cold. There's one in the next block, block over that's for the freezer. And so they should keep our refrigerator nice Ooh, and cold. My hand was wet, stuck on there. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's so scary. Yeah, well don't do that. <laughs> All right, so now we have refrigeration. High five. High five, there we go. Only uh, took us one month. Yeah, like a month to get a fix. Check all that down. The problem is we don't have any cold beer. We got wine. We got wine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy uh, maintenance Monday. On a Happy maintenance not Monday. Monday. <laughs> Always. Thanks for watching another edition of Maintenance Monday, and for all you patrons, be sure to tune into our patron-only live chat this afternoon.